world has come across two of the most difficult years in modern history. Never in our wild imagination we have thought we will have to remain confined within our house, witnessing our nearest one dying or suffering due to COVID. The international travel almost suspended and the economic activities disrupted unprecedented since the World War II. But thanks to government of Bangladesh, the brave doctors of the country, health workers, we have combated the situation better than most of the countries of the world. Not only that, thanks to our indomitable spirit of our entrepreneurs, our workers, our economic activities remained relatively unscathed compared to most of the countries and especially compared to the neighboring countries. In the fiscal year 2021, we have witnessed almost 7% GDP growth, which is one of the highest across the globe. Not only that, we witnessed record proceed from export during 2021, crossing $44 billion. Our foreign exchange reserve also reached to $48 billion during the year. The credit growth in the private sector also started inching up during the fourth quarter of the year due to the continuation of the moratorium to the borrowers, although partially. In addition to the stimulus package extended by the government of Bangladesh, most of the businesses, especially the SMEs, got a lifeline to come back from the COVID-related disruption. And we hope with the kind of support given, most of the sectors will come to its normalcy by the first quarter of 2022. And we continue to focus on supporting the SMEs to make sure employment comes to its normalcy in 2022. We remain committed to support our customers amidst all the adversaries and uncertainties posed by the COVID-19. Not for a single day, IPDC's operations remain suspended during the last couple of years. Our technological platform helped us to support our customers better than anybody in the competition. As a result, we have a phenomenal financial result in 2021 despite all the challenges posed by the external environment. In 2021, our lending portfolio has grown by 21.9%, crossing 65 billion taka. Our customer deposit has also seen a very strong growth. It has crossed 60 billion in 2021 with 15.2% growth year on year. Our revenue has also grown by 21.7% during the year, whereby we contained cost in the face of uncertainties, it has grown by only 7.9%. As a result, we have a robust operating profit growth, which has grown by 31.2% year on year. After setting aside 350 million surplus provision, considering the uncertainties, we have posted a record profit of 881 million in 2021, which saw a 24.9% growth year on year. On the other hand, we have significantly reduced our dependency on bank borrowing in the recent years. Back in 2018, our bank borrowing on net basis had been 29% as a source of fund. Today, at the end of 2021, which has come down to only 5% on net basis, while customer deposit now consists of 68% of our source of fund. That speaks we have not only grown, but we have grown in a sustainable manner, which will ensure we will continue with this kind of growth pace in 
next few years as well. If we go segment wise, back in 2015, 79% of our lending portfolio consisted of corporate lending, whereby SME and retail were only 11% and 10% respectively. After six years, corporate book has come down to 47%, whereby today our SME portfolio is 31% and retail portfolio is 22% of our lending portfolio. In these last six years, the SME book has grown by 28 times, whereby retail has grown by 22 times. That speaks about the kind of capacity building and strategic priority we have set in these two areas to support the socio-economic development of this country. In 2021, our return on equity grew by more than 2%, reaching at 14.19%. Our earning per share reached at 2.37 taka, which was 1.90 taka in 2020. Our return on asset also grew by 8% and reached at 1.09%, which was 1.01% the previous year. Our spread also remained healthy at 3.31%, although slightly has gone down from 3.51% last year due to the excess liquidity in the market, uh, which resulted in fierce competition in the market, especially in the corporate segment. Our classified loan ratio grew to 3.15% in 2021 because of the COVID situation. Many of the sectors which were hardly hit by the COVID, uh, there is a, a breathing time for the borrowers to come back to normalcy. Uh, we expect uh, the classified loan ratio to remain over 3% in 2022 and 23, most probably, after which it should come down to below 2%, which is IPDC's strategic uh, uh, target. And if we talk about cost income ratio, we have a very favorable cost income ratio, which has come down by more than 5% last year, and now remains at around 36%, one of the best in the market. If we look back and see IPDC's operational and financial performance since 2015, when we formulated our new long-term strategic plan, focusing on SMEs and lower income families outside the metropolis, this is a phenomenal result as you can see. Our lending portfolio has grown by more than 10 times during the last six years. Our lending portfolio quality remained one of the best in the market and industry. Our deposit has grown by more than 12 times. Our operating revenue has grown by more than five times. And our operating net profit has grown by more than three times in the last six years since 2015. If we talk about our four strategic focus area, starting with home loan, uh, by 2021, our home loan portfolio has reached to almost 9 billion taka, and that's how we have enabled around 7,700 families to realize their dream home. In 2021, we disbursed almost 15 billion taka through supply chain finance to SMEs, one of our strategic area for business growth, as well as to support the young and small entrepreneurs throughout the countries through value chain finance. If we talk about the SME sector financing in 2021, our total portfolio has crossed over 20 billion taka, and we have created more than 42,000 jobs through our SME financing. Lastly, in our women empowerment area, the total financial asset by our women customer has crossed 11 billion taka and now we have around 3,800 women customers in our portfolio. Not only that, during 2021, 
the women entrepreneur finance has grown by 98%, that is almost has doubled during the year. That is one of the phenomenal achievement IPTC has achieved through focusing small women entrepreneur finance during the year. IPTC is committed to the development of marginalized population of this country through focusing the small and micro enterprises as well as lower income families of the country. But we are also mindful to the fact that our business and operation cannot reach to the lower of the pyramid of the country at this moment. That is why we have also many of the philanthropic activities going on through our CSR window. We have introduced IPDC Manobata campaign whereby we try to support the marginalized population through uh, providing them uh, food during the COVID. That was a unique uh, idea from IPDC whereby our customers sacrificed a part of their interest and IPDC tripled the amount uh, from itself uh, through which we supported more than 11,000 families during the COVID time. In 2021, we also introduced IPDC Aroggo loan to support hospitalization cost of COVID affected customers of IPDC. We also supported 50 kids uh, through Jago Foundation for their educational uh, expenses uh, on the occasion of Golden Jubilee of our independence. We also uh, supported uh, the setting up of a gym at the Norail Express Foundation in Norail uh, through our ex-cricket captain, Mashafi bin Murtaza. We are also supporting a Birangana for her family expenses. She has a disabled kid. She suffered during the liberation war of Bangladesh and through their sacrifices, we got our independence. It is our obligation. We remain committed to support this kind of marginalized or people in destitute so that we can have a more equitable society in this country. 2021 has been quite a diversely rewarding year for IPDC. IPDC always fosters inclusive work environment. Today we can proudly proclaim in our board and in our senior leadership team, more than 30% is represented by women colleagues. As a result, in 2021, IPDC won the prestigious, most prestigious organization award in women's most inspiring women award category. Also, our retailer financing platform, Dana got the award in Bangladesh FinTech Awards. Our digital finance platform, Arjun, also received award in Bangladesh Innovation Award. Also, we received quite a few awards in Com Award and Digital Award uh, ceremonies. Most importantly, Bangladesh Copyright Office awarded IPDC for its contribution to promote the folk music in Bangladesh through IPDC Amader Gan platform, which all of you know has become quite popular and has become the platform for IPDC to popularize its brand at the mass level. And that's how we are building our ground for our products like Dana and Easy, which is going to take IPTC forward in coming years. Today, IPTC has more than 1.3 billion taka surplus liquidity, which puts IPTC on a very strong standing as far as liquidity is concerned. We are ready to face any adversities in the market, given that we continue with that kind of a liquidity standing. We have very minimal dependency on bank borrowing, which stands at 5% at the end of 2021 on net basis. 68% of our fund comes from customer deposit, which is again another indicator for our strong financial uh, uh, standings. Today we have around 350 million surplus provision on our balance sheet 
that helps us to combat any downfall risk going forward coming from COVID related problems our customers are facing. We have 849 passionate team members who are working relentlessly to meet and exceed our customer demand in our key target areas and by any standard the productivity of IPC employees far exceed any of our competitors. Not only that, strategically IPDC is trying to attract, retain and develop best talent from the market to combat the future challenges it has to grow and support the target customers of IPDC through innovative financial solutions to make sure we provide financial product more cost effectively, easily to our customers who had been largely overlooked by traditional banks and financial institutions. Today, we have more than 15% capital adequacy ratio vis-a-vis 10% mandated by Bangladesh Bank as minimum capital adequacy ratio. IPDC has emerged as the most innovative and financial brand of the country and this is laying out the road for our future innovative products success like the Dana, Easy and Arjun. IPDC is one of the very few financial institutions who has the highest credit rating of AAA and is backed by government of Bangladesh and BRAC as the two major shareholders of the company. So we are ready to take any challenge coming in our way going forward. That is saying in 2022, we have identified key, of, uh, key focus areas. Number one, calibrating our distribution network whereby we want to provide faster and efficient service to our customers in key growth areas. Number two, uh, optimizing our resources. So not only uh, expanding our distribution network, last year we uh, opened three new branches, but strengthening those new branches for grabbing new businesses will remain our key focus in 2022. And of course, through process engineering and digitizing of the processes, we want to bring in more efficiency and productivity within the company. Uh, number four, we have the plan to formally launch IPDC Easy in 2022, which is running in pilot phase for last couple of years and got delayed due to the COVID situation. We also have planned to introduce IPDC Dana formally for the mass market and grab at least 500,000 retailers uh, on board to a Dana platform in 2022. We also want to diversify our source of fund. So we have already gone uh, quite a long way to get overseas fund from few of the multilateral agencies. That process will continue in 2022. Also, we'll try to get long-term fund through issuance of Geo coupon bond in 2022. Uh, last but not the least, in 2022, we'll further enhance our brand, uh, brand visibility in key markets and target areas, especially youth, women, and lower income families outside metropolis. As we see the end of COVID pandemic, 2022 brings the new hope and aspiration across the globe, and specifically for Bangladesh. As we have just passed the 50 years landmark of our independence, IPDC reinstates its commitment to be a partner of socio-economic development of this country as a financial intermediary. Our special focus, of course, will remain with the empowerment of women, youth, entrepreneurship, and affordable housing for the lower middle income families beyond the mega cities of the country. We wish all the best, unbound joy, happiness and success for all the citizens of this country celebrating the golden jubilee of our independence and 
we hope to be with you in the coming years. Jago Utshashe.